What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the Eclectic Beard Gaming and Reactions. This go around, we've got Ronnie Barker mispronunciation sketch. Now, this is something that has been requested quite a bit since I've looked at the two Ronnies. And uh, yeah, so we're going ahead and take a look at this. Now, if you haven't already, like, subscribe, and notification bell. So that I'm just going to say this. As much as this has been requested and as much as I've enjoyed the two Ronnie stuff, I'm very much looking forward to seeing exactly because yeah, just a master of the languages. So here we go. Good evening. I'm squeaking to you tonight, once again, as the chairman for the Loyal Society for the Prevention of Piss Pronunciation. <laughs> Society formed to help people who can't say their worms correctly. <laughs> I myself often use the wrong word. pronunciation of worms correctly. Oh, God, already. Worms, and that is why I was erected charming of the society. <laughs> <laughs> Personally, let me try and put you in the puncture regarding our mumblers. <laughs> Peach and every plum of them have difficulty in conversing. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, dear God. It's funny, you hear Miss Manal saying it, but in your head, you, you hear the actual, you, you hear the, the, the correct word. You, it, oh, my God. ...with the people they meet in everyday loaf. <laughs> their murk weights at the fig tree or the orifice, or even in their own holes, min and wolf, sather and fun, brother and thistle. <laughs> Unable to communicate. <laughs> and this can be an enormous bandage up to our tremblers at all times. Especially at bismuth time, because bismuth is a season of grease on earth and pig's wool. <laughs> <laughs> when the family all get together, the next drunk can be messy. <laughs> Gather around the fireside, cracking nits, <laughs> smelling Tories, and singing old pongs and barrels. <laughs> Uh, many of our rumblers lose out on these skinful pastimes. A very close fringe of mine, for instance, once went carol slinging with the local church queer. <laughs> but instead of slinging Good King Wenceslas' ass stuck out, <laughs> oh my God! Oh Jesus Christ! Oh my Lord! This is just this is too fun. This is. The mispro mispronunciation and what it turn what it turns what he's saying into is hilarious because the double meanings behind because you like I said I I hear exactly what's being said but you also hear what somebody mispronouncing stuff like the the correct so I'm hearing it's crazy because I know exactly <laughs> oh my god this is just too funny this is just too funny. And his feet were steaming. He sang, Go rest your belly, gentlemen, let nothing rude display. <laughs> Which, of course, caused havoc among the queer and deeply upset the drink as well. <laughs> this is just one instance of what my tremblers have to stiffer with a lip upper stuff. <laughs> what we need out is what we need now is money to build clubs and calamity centres where people don't have to bother with the right worms. Places where they can greet each other with a cheery, good afternoon, that's how nice to scream. <laughs> a place where they can play a game of ping tennis or table pong, <laughs> scribble or newts and crutches. <laughs> now, many famous people are patrons of the society. Uh, piddly Titians like Whitley Whitelaw, <laughs> Sir Geoffrey Who and Mr. Dennis Holy, also famous TV nosebleeders like Reggie Boozencourt, <laughs> Angela Ripon and Anna Flaud, and of course Mrs. Harry Whitemouse. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Not to be confused with Mrs. Woodlouse the Hog Dangler. <laughs> Among the aristocracy, there is Lord Longfelt, there is the Duchess of Bedbug, and Lord Montibu of Gooley. 
but patronage is not enough. Remember the worms of William Shakespeare's, our great national poets. <laughs> a horse, a house, my kingdom for a hearse. <laughs> and of course, eventually he got all three. <laughs> what we need is printed matter, any sort of printed matter, no matter what sort. Send your magazines, newspapers, dicks and bookshelves. Send it up in pustules and post it to one of our mini branches, dotted all over the Bottish Isle. <laughs> Minchester, Herminbum, Lover Pill, and as far north as the Firth of Filth. <laughs> we are also busy setting up outposts in foreign pants, too, all over the glop. In fact, we have just opened a branch in Siam. And now, in confusion, I would like you to join me in singing <laughs> the Siam. <laughs> confusion oh I might start using that along with my many many what I take and get my words all mixed up in confusion instead of in conclusion and these notional anthem to the tune of God save the queer <laughs> <laughs> oh what a What a fool I am. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That was absolutely... that has That's one of the funniest ones I've... I, <clears throat> I think the only thing I've seen funnier so far... Now, all of the stuff I've seen that's comedy has just it's tickled me. This right here, though, rings up there with the Carl Pink... Uh, Ricky Gervais show, Carl... Uh, Pilkington and Odd. Uh, up there with four candles. Like. And even with Monty Python and the Dead Parrot and the Lumberjack song. Like that's. This is just absolutely hilarious. The mispronunciation and, and the way things come out. Oh my god. Absolutely hilarious. Because what's funny is whenever you're hearing the mispron mispronunciation subconsciously you're hearing or at least for me like subconsciously your brain's making out what's actually you know should be said or supposed to be said or what you think it should be said so you get i got that on top of i got that on top of what was being said and it just made it all that much funnier so that was yeah y'all be good to each other love yourselves and keep coming with recommendations peace